By the time he mentioned some suspicious name, he said, this is a relationship that KIV kept in view. We've got to examine this one. Who are the people that he connects to? Who are the people that appeals to him? I saw a young man coming around several years ago. He has a good work in Nigeria. Anytime I see him, I see him with books of white preachers. White preachers. White preachers. So I now called him. All those books that talk of working on the mind, the mind, the mind. And I said to him, I said, listen, whenever you come to a do, I will take you to my, my library. I've got a terrible, massive library. All kinds of books. Eh? My wife said, not just library, on, even on the bed. <laughs> now, books everywhere. All kinds of white preacher. There are some revelations that are not workable on African soil. No, sir. The demons in America are computer literate. The demons in Africa, they don't browse, they kill. American demons eat noodles and spaghetti. Very refined, very organized. African demons eat Akbu, very heartless and experienced. <laughs> it was Af American demons in Genesis 3. The Bible says now the serpent was more subtle. American demons. African demons, Revelation 12, now the dragon. <laughs> What is more than just handling a serpent to confront American demons will prevent you. You give birth to a child and they will put the child on drugs. The child becomes a drug addict. African demons, you will not even see the child. Very old, very experienced, ancient. So you need brutality. You are carrying books where people say it's not by fasting. Is the mind. It's not by prayer. It's the mind. Oh, grow your church with the mind. Oh, yeah. I've seen pastors die cheap because they are carrying books that are not obtainable in African soil. Amen. <laughs> books that are not obtainable here. Our atmosphere. Do you know the preachers that have, that have gone to America to do warfare? African soil needs brutality. And I called him. I said, sit down. I said, yes. And I said, where is your place? When he, met, he was pastoring in Jebu day, and you are reading John Maxwell. And he said to me, sir, what do I say? Carry on, look on ya. This kind of your location needs fall down and die. <laughs> I said, This kind of location needs. I said, Go and get my book back fire by fire. As your location, your, your location does not need in the name of Jesus, it needs my father, my father. That which must die. Who do they relate with? What do they believe in? Thank God for these men. Thank God for their books. They are good for information, but they are not good for operations. Every minister must have manuals for operations. All right, you must get a book that is a manual for operation. It is not wrong, it is, it is permitted in any profession. There must be manual for operations. Some of my pastors have written books, Evan Kinsley have written, Pastor Fide, uh, Pastor Azem. I, I, I read their books. Was it this morning? Or yesterday, I was praying with Pastor Azem's book. It will be out, we'll bring it here tomorrow on foundation. I was praying, 
I was I'm coming from a stronghold. The only way to enjoy freedom is to do what brought freedom. Keep doing it. Because once you have rest on every side, it becomes a problem. I was handling the prayer. I was praying. I was praying. Have a manual. Have a manual. So, who do they relate with? Number three. I'll just give you number three. I'll also give you four, but I'll give you three. I'll give you three. 